Hey guys, welcome to episode number 53. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I just realized that I haven't done a video introducing um, all of my Diamondback Terrapins all at once. And uh, I thought it would be interesting to put them all side by side here and just introduce them one at a time. Um, and let you guys see kind of how they're progressing. I might do this every you know three to six months just to see where these guys are at. But um, let me just walk you through them one at a time. So I started in 2010 with three hatchlings, and uh, this was one of them. Um, my girlfriend is in charge of naming all of the turtles. And so this was the largest one uh, when I got the three. And so she named it after herself, uh, Julie. So this is Julie. Um, Julie is still, I believe, the largest uh, terrapin that I have. But as you can see, Julie is a male turtle. Um, of course, you know when, these, when the turtles are named, you can't tell if they're male or female. Um, but... Uh, this one turned out to be male and uh, I, I like the uh, the light coloration on uh, the, the shell um, it's always been fairly light like this uh, but you will see that the the, the patterns that the markings aren't quite as distinct as they could be um, you'll see that the, the the dark isn't all that dark and the light isn't all that light so it's it's kind of a, a muted pattern um, and then if you'll notice uh, it's it's a concentric they're all concentrics um, this this one doesn't have a very strong concentric pattern it looks almost like um, like a northern uh, but it but it does have some of those concentric patterns uh, on the head they're just smaller than uh, than some of the other turtles so this is the first one. I'm going to go put this one back in the tank real quick and I'll introduce the next one. All right, so in 2010, another of the three that I got is this one right here. This is Greg. Um, Greg was named after myself. And uh, this was the smallest turtle that I got at the time. And you'll notice um, Greg is still probably the smallest of the three 2010s that I have. I think he pretty much caught up with the other two, but I think he's still a little bit smaller. And uh, you'll notice he, he is a male. You see the, the tail there. Um, and his shell pattern is actually quite a bit darker than Julie's shell pattern. Um, you can't really notice any of the markings on the shell um, you can see a few of them very faintly but the shell has has darkened in color quite a bit uh, the shell was dark when he was small but it's it's darkened up considerably since then you'll notice that he has uh, the larger concentric markings on his head um, but they are kind of uh, uh, I, I, I want to say they're they're kind of muddled a little bit. You'll see they're not they're not quite as perfect as they could be. Uh, they are very pronounced, um, much much more so than than Julie's. But there is some slight speckling on the sides next to ne next to the eyes. But overall, he's a he's a darker uh, a darker terrapin. Uh, in terms of his, his shell color and you'll notice that his nose is very dark all of the markings on his nose are very dark so that's Greg I'm gonna go put him back in the tank real quick and the last of the 2010s is right here um, this is Speedy and Speedy, I would say, is the nicest of the three 2010s that I got. And by the way, all three of these uh, 2010s came from Keith B. Um, he's got a lot of great animals, so go check him out. Um, the shell pattern, as you can see, has stayed very light. And 
if you'll notice that the darks are darker and the lights are lighter than um, Julie's shell was. Um, so it's it's much much more defined coloration. Uh, it's it's held its 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 definition um, even up to this size. So um, I'm really liking that. Again, Speedy is a male. You'll see the tail there. And uh, of the three, uh, I, I like. I like his um, head markings the best. You'll see there's uh, very, very defined head markings. Um, there is this one spot, which is a little odd, but other than that, um, they're very nice, long, dark uh, head markings and, and very white skin. Uh, and then the nose, you'll notice, is, is much different than, than Greg's nose. Um, there are white and, and, and dark patches there. Um, so these ones are, are probably the three friendliest um, that I, I do have, uh, but they all like to be in their aquarium. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Speedy back in. Of the three males, confirmed males that I have, this one is probably the front runner um, to be a breeder, just because of the, the lighter shell pattern um, and the the good definition in, in color on uh, on the head pattern. But I'm going to go put him back in the tank. And all three of those are in my 125. And um, next we've got the uh, we've got the 2011s. So I started off 2011 by um, going back to Keith B. And I got these two guys right here. And you'll notice. Um, I don't know if you, if you can see their, their head patterns there, but they, and, and their shell patterns, they are exactly the same size, they're exactly the same shape, and their patterns are almost exactly the same as well. And uh, so what uh, my girlfriend decided to name these were Timon and Pumbaa. And the only way I can tell the difference between them is on the top of their head, the tip top of their head, this is Timon. Timon has three dots on the top of his head. I don't know if you can see them there. On the very top, there's three dots. And then Pumbaa only has uh, two. Only has two dots on the top of his head. But these guys started off growing like monsters. And uh, I got them earlier in the year. Um, they grew really fast. Uh, the comparison video that I did a few months back were um, these guys to my 2010s. So as 2011s, uh, this is how much they've grown already. Um, but I would like to note that compared to my other 2011s, the other 2011s have almost caught up. Uh, Timon and Pumbaa here have, have slowed their eating. Uh, and I think that's okay because they look like... You know, they've got plenty of weight to them. Uh, but their their growth has kind of slowed here in, in the winter months a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if it's because I, I put them from a 55-gallon tank by themselves into a 125 with three other turtles. But um, I do feed the 125 every day. Um, and these guys uh, are, are less social, I would say, than my 2010s. Uh, they do like to sleep a lot, and uh, that's okay. I mean, they don't they don't seem to eat every day. Sometimes uh, they skip a meal, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. They seem very very fat and healthy uh, little turtles, but but their growth has slowed a little bit. You'll notice they do have uh, darker coloration uh, when they were hatchlings. They actually were very light in color, so it just goes to show you buying a hatchling, you know, is, is no real way to tell what it's going to look like as an adult, as, as these ones show. Um, you know, they went, they went really dark, and you can barely see the, the shell colorations. And you'll notice the, uh, the, head, the head colorations are very nice. They've got big concentric markings, um, and as they're not quite of age, you can't really tell if they're male or female, but I'm gonna go put these guys, Timon and Pumbaa, in the tank. All right, and uh, the Timon and Pumbaa also came from um, 
Keith B. I don't remember if I told you that or not. And then towards the end of the season, actually, I, I wasn't sure that I was going to get any more Terrapins, uh, 2011. And uh, then uh, Jonathan Helms uh, emailed me, and my my spot came up uh, on his list. So I couldn't current couldn't turn him down, um, especially if uh, I'm potentially going to breed these in the future. I don't want um, just turtles from from one breeder. I want to try to get turtles from at least two breeders to get um, you know some some different genetics um, in the mix. And uh, so you'll notice that all four of these um, are fairly light in color. These two especially have a, a lighter shell color. And uh, they have very, very nice um, facial markings. You'll see the coloration and the definition on their face markings are, are very clear. And uh, there's no muddling uh, whatsoever. So. I'm uh, very happy with these two, and uh, I'm hoping that both of these will turn out to be female. Um, and they would be they would be really nice um, to breed with Speedy, if possible, because all three of their shells um, are of that light color. So um, what what my girlfriend did end up naming these four are uh, John, Paul, Ringo, and George after the Beatles. Um, so I'm not really sure which one's which, uh, but now that I'm on camera, I guess I'm going to uh, stick to something. So um, this one will be John. He's got two two small dots on the top of his forehead, so that's how you can tell he's John. Uh, he's got the, the light colored shell. Um, Paul has the four dots on the top of the head, and he's actually got the, the lightest color shell. So I'm going to go put these two uh, in their tank. They're in the 55 gallon tank. So John and Paul. Now the other two are a little bit lighter and they are a little bit smaller. Uh, but they all do eat very similarly. Um, they eat very well. And uh, what we have here is Ringo and George. So um, Ringo doesn't have any spots on the top of his head and then George has five one two three four five spots on the top of his head and you'll notice um, that both of these are a little bit darker in shell color than the other two uh, but again all of the face facial markings are very well pronounced um, very very white and very black uh, markings which are great and uh, that rounds out my uh, nine hatchlings. Um, again, these are too small to, to sex currently, um, but I am hoping that more um, of these are going to turn out uh, female than males because I have three males and currently um, the rest of them, I don't know their sex. So I'm gonna go put these back in the tank. So now that I've, I've introduced all of them and you've seen them, I'm just going to take this camera off the tripod real quick and I'll show you their habitats as they currently are. Um, this is where the beetles live for right now. Um, I do have to move this light still. It's a little close to that, um, that plastic. but. Um, they started out in here as hatchlings and they've grown quite a bit as you can see They're about ready to move out of this tank um, There's not a whole lot of room left in here for them um, Which is okay. Uh, I knew that they're gonna outgrow it um, I just didn't realize how quickly they were going to outgrow it, but they seem to have a really good time in here and uh, then the other five are in the 125 here and as I said um, Timon and Pumbaa tend to uh, just hide and sleep in the corners uh, they love to sleep down there in the corner and they love to sleep up there in the corner but uh, the other three are pretty social you know I've had them for a while and they like to hang out by the glass hang out up front 
and uh, they oftentimes uh, swim around together, uh, which is kind of neat. But those are my nine concentric diamondback terrapin hatchlings and yearlings. Uh, I know I need to clean this tank out. That's what's next up on my list. But that's update Monday. So now you know all of my turtles. You've seen their shells and their markings and kind of, you know, my, my feelings towards each one of them. Uh, I really am hoping for some, some females here. Um, and then I might pare down my collection to, uh, to an appropriate ratio of, of males and females in the future and uh, eventually get them in a stock tank. But that's the long-term plan. And that's all I've got. Alright guys, see you later.